as you can see, I'm literally under the light of my headlight right now. Um, it's 4 a.m. I'm outside my house, literally ready to go. Um, got to go and pick up my mate Josh. Um, some of you would have seen him in the Yeti video. Um, he's going to tag along as a passenger with me for this trip. And then Curtis is going to tag along as well because he's just literally finished yesterday his M57 swap into the Discovery 1. He wanted to come back to the desert with a bit more power. So that was his goal. And he cut it fine, to say the least. What's the time? 5 a.m. We are 5 a.m. right now. 5 a.m. So we're here. Josh and obviously the familiar face. Curtis, ready for round two. So 5 a.m. Um, we've ju I've just picked Josh up. Curtis has met us here, and then we're going to shoot up to a Tesco's in Dover. Just before Curtis is having his breakfast. It's too early for this. Coffee and a roll up. Uh, yeah. Um, yes, it is early. How are you feeling though? I actually feel fresh and I feel excited now. Cause you're excited because yeah. you were a bit worried yesterday. It's because it's, 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 it's a bit like anything. Like, I don't actually think it's happening until it's happening, you know? Oh, yeah. So, like, even And it's quite a big before, thing to happen. Yeah, it's not just like a little quick hop across the channel, no. is it? Like, yeah. It's nearly 5,000 miles. <laughs> but, like I said to Josh, he's the, got the least to worry about because all he's got is a pop up tent, a mattress, and a blanket. <laughs> Still. Like, he hasn't got a vehicle to worry this, about nothing. This is me we're talking about. However, like I said, Curtis, pushing a fine line. Two weeks of building a truck of nerves, and now it's as ready as it's going to get, so... But, we did go out on it the other night, and it does drive very well. Touch wood. So, it will be, if it makes it there, which I hope it does. I will be so proud of myself if it actually makes it there. And I'll be proud of you. Less breakdowns than the 300. And it will be, it will be fucking awesome in the desert, that thing, because it flies. So. I've just got to be gentle with it. Don't break it. Yeah, well, that's not what Curtis does. Like it, you, he used to be gentle, but now he drives like a hooligan. So. <laughs> anyway, right, let's get on the motorway. I'm going to try not to make this series as long as the last, because <laughs> hour long episodes. I'm surprised I didn't win a BAFTA award for Use it. To be yeah, I know, but I get a bit boring because I waffle on. This is like I'm doing now. This is so, the cameraman. Let, yeah, he is the cameraman. So, let's um. Not sponsored event. <laughs> we'll we'll cut this, and unless you break down, let's do this. Unless you break down, we'll see you at Big Tesco. We'll be at Tesco's. Bonjour. Right. So I know I said the next time pick up the camera we'll be at the Tesco's, but I forgot. Um, we're all a bit excited, but we're here at Dover, um, just waiting for the other guys. We've got our own lane in. Um, even better, we're on the 9.30 boat. It's 25 past 8, is it? Yeah. Um, they've just put us on the 8.30 boat or 8.45 boat, um, so that's cool. Um, but wait for these guys to get here, and um, we'll be there an hour early, which is mega. Um, especially as France at the moment, um, you know, we're talking... February 2024 as much as I do agree with it the farmers are massively protesting and good for them but um but yeah it's going to cause us potentially some issues as we go down so anyway let's see these guys arrive here comes Tom the mighty Hilux That looks so cool, doesn't it, that Jeep? Then Martin in the big Ranger. It's like 300 horsepower, this thing, with his bike on the back. It's a hell of a rig. Right, so made it to France. We'll have to excuse this curly hair. Don't know what's happened. It's like the last two years of my life, my hair's just got extremely curly. Josh is at the wheel. A little bit scared about that. Um, but we are in convoy. We're just queuing at the moment to get out of Calais. Really rough crossing, which wasn't very nice. And I had an Irish breakfast that cost me how much? About 18 quid. 18 quid. Although Hannah got one and it was 12 quid. So I don't know what she did to get such a discount, but obviously I didn't do the same thing. We've got a bit of a stretch down to Limoges, or just above actually. Staying at a campsite tonight, so we're gonna go down 
west um, towards Le Mans just purely because I want to avoid Paris at the moment so um, just because of these protests so hopefully we don't encounter too many problems when I went to Mark and Tear last week or the week before that um, they shut the motorway there so let's just hope we get a clear run fingers crossed right so been traveling for a bit we're actually just south of Mark and Tear to be fair um, but yeah going well all parked up here um, we just stopped for a quick toilet break and stuff everything's going good I mean the biggest surprise is Curtis's D1 what do you reckon Curtis is it all good music why haven't you got music cheap shit leads new wire what happened to all your sub and everything it works. It's just this cheeky USB lead. So oh. I'm trying to replace it because it's a fucking bullet. Oh, that's shit. Oh, oh don't, don't use your coffee, mate. Don't want to lose that. That's essential. You fucking made it crisp. How's your crisps? Don't pick your thumb up. Not that one. <laughs> How's the highlights going, Tom? Yeah, very well. Yeah, good. What's your MPGs? Oh, you're doing all right. Yeah, consider it. Hell of a lineup. Right, so day one over. It's quarter past eight. We are at this campsite, which is actually the first one we stayed at on the last trip. So for those of you who watched it, you'll recognise it. Curtis was probably the first set up, obviously. Although he has got more gear. This time, haven't you? Well, I haven't got space to find cat in here. He's bought a chair this time, so some of you will be pleased with that. And as you can see, he's even got a mattress, um, rather than his stupid inflatable thing that kept like it was deflating. Wild, then it got a punch up. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, it's good. Even though I cut up the chicken, Josh is now cooking, so I'm not going to give him all the credit, but we're having a chicken curry. Lewis and Tully are having chicken wraps. Curtis, what have you, are you going to go for a steak in and. Steak and onion. Oh, not in super noodles? No. Oh, well, you're boring. It might end up there because I haven't really got anything to go with it. it. Curtis's choice was steak or super noodles, and I thought that sounds like a good stir fry, mix them together, but no. See Tom's set up. It's cosy under here. Tom, what are you eating tonight? Had time. Look at this. It's like a home from home. I've done back seats as well. Oh, shit, yeah, you have. Oh, my God, you've literally got a larder. You've, you've, you've literally got a crisp shelf and everything. You're having pad thai? Yeah. Nice. Very good. Very good. No, it looks really cool. Obviously, they're not with us, but I do like it. Maybe next year. What about here in the man shack? No idea, mate. You got your bike off. This is the one downside of Martin bringing his bike, look. So, it goes on the rack, but to get anything out, you've got to take it off. But... Luckily, it's only a little bike, so... Oh, you've parked just too close. Nah, it's mint. <laughs> I only want this out for the night. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeehaw. It's cool. So this is first night, camping night one. Really good campsite, this. Um, just south of Orleans. Um, but yeah, nice showers and toilets and all that, so that's important. But anyway, let's see... Oh, look, this smells good. Mmm... So, I'm going to finish setting up and then have some food and then I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. So, day two. Stayed at this glorious campsite. Once again, river just over there. Um, and there's a castle over there. You, again, you may have remembered this if you watched the first series. It's really nice. It is 20 to 9. Um, we're going to set off here at 9 o'clock. We've got about six and a half hours driving today, um, which will take us um, just north of the Pyrenees, um, just north of Andorra, uh, where we'll camp in the mountains. It's going to be cold. Um, it was a little bit chilly last night, but yeah, it will be cold. Yeah, it should be good. So we're going to crack on, get to the bakery this morning get some bread and croissants because when in france you've got to um, but yeah hopefully we get better progress today obviously we're avoiding or well, we've passed most of the traffic now so um fingers crossed for toulouse that they're not doing too much but yeah up showered 
Where did he go? Just gonna pack up. Curtis is, how was your sleep? Awesome. Yeah. He's got so much gear. <clears throat> um, but anyway, we'll catch you in the mountains. So we're just trying not to cause chaos in this lovely little French village. But I'm to stop at the bakery. I don't think this is the same one we went to last year, but we just found it on the map. So <clears throat> croissant's a croissant in France, isn't it? There we go. Feels good to be back. <laughs> Just on our way up to camp, it's Martin. Look at this for a view. We've got the Pyrenees in the background over there. This, this is worth it by miles. We're currently still in the south of France, about an hour from Andorra, and we're still climbing. Right, so we're at this camp spot. It's just so mega. A bit of grass. Guys are up there, we've got rocks on the viewpoint. Just gonna get our awnings out. Curtis! What are you doing? Are you taking a photo? Are you sitting there? Oh, I'm just getting Lewis to open his awning out and then we're gonna put ours together. Just pull up there for a sec. There you go, so we've both got fox wings either side. So we'll um we'll just pull them pull them together and we'll have some nice nice room. Right, so how's about this for a view? My camera will not do it justice, obviously. This is overlooking Foix, um, south of France, and regardless of that, forget the campsite views, how's about this for a camp set up? So We've got Curtis sleeping in his car. Martin's got his soft shell roof tent. Dylan's got a sick blow up Dometic um, swag on a stretcher. So it's funny, we've got two people camping in the car, which is Curtis and his Discovery. <coughs> Harry and Hannah are over there in the Jeep. Then we've got two hard shells, Lewis and Tully in theirs and mine. And then we've got two soft shells. Um, so yeah, we've got the tables out, everyone's cooking, and all this undercover space, look. What are you cooking, Tom? Cheeseburger tonight. Cheeseburger tonight. A bit of GBK. Oh. GBK burger. Is it? Yeah. What, like an official? Or are you doing a replica? They get from Waitrose now. There you go. Fucking lettuce and everything. There you go. T uh, what are we having, Josh? Saggy bollocks. Okay, that in, in most people's terms, that's spaghetti bolognese, which is cool. Um, to be fair, Harry and Hannah are going to have the best view in the morning because this is the viewpoint with the rocks. So, um, Lewis and Tully are having soup. Curtis, what's on the menu tonight? Uh, I might have a little sausage baguette, I think. A sausage baguette? But that sounds like what like most people would maybe Bad cook. Boy from the bakery this morning. Yeah, I know. I forgot about mine. I've got to eat it. What to do with it? I've got some pate. Sausage, onion, maybe mushrooms. Do you reckon you could do the whole baguette? Give it a dip now. Yeah, I reckon you could. Are, are you two just having soup? Just soup. I mean, to be fair, you can't beat Heinz tomato soup with some fresh French bread and butter. So that's... that's... But yeah. What these boys are having, they don't even know yet, I reckon. Dylan, do you know what you're having for dinner? I haven't got a clue. No. Martin, what are you having for dinner? Dylan, what are we having for dinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. It sounds about right. Yeah. So, I don't know yet. yeah, fair enough. But, Curry uh, or pie? Curry or pie? In the oven? In the oven. So he's got an oven as well, same as me. So, yeah, this is cool. Fingers crossed we don't get too much wind tonight because that will make things difficult. Um, but, yeah, this for is... Everybody but me. Oh, yeah, to be what fair, Josh would be right. Josh? Spaghetti bolognese. With cheesy garlic bread, use them a baguette where you used that before earlier. Ooh. You are reliving last year. <laughs> yeah, literally are. <laughs> yeah, so literally this year, it's really funny, um, but we've stopped at like every service station that we stopped at by fluke, uh, recreated a photo by fluke pretty much, 
and uh, apart from tonight, we did stay at a campsite. About lunchtime, I was like, I really fancy spaghetti bolognese tonight, and it was the first time I cooked Curtis. The first time I cooked you a meal. Let alone the first time I cooked you spaghetti bolognese, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so. Is that good? Fair enough. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to see my spaghetti bolognese from last year, go on Curtis's Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that was back when you told me you didn't eat anything. And he was eating a good three meals a day. Right, let's finish this cooking up. That's a, oh, it's a hell of a baguette. Can we put it against like this can for size? <laughs> Banana for reference. How many Coke cans long is that? I reckon it's got to be four. No, three yeah. and a half. Oh, no, nah, you skipped that. I was watching <laughs> on the camera. How many sausages are in there? Eight. <laughs> what? Oh he God. just cooks. <laughs> he literally just cooks them by the pack. It's like, well, well what are you gonna do with half an open pack of sausages? Put them back in the fridge for the next day. Mess, <laughs> and you have to clean the mess up. Everything is about less mess. Wrap it up. Buy, I'm gonna buy you some cling film. How many mouthfuls? Of those, uh, what are they called? Ziplocs. Yeah, I've got freezer bags. Ten bites might be gone. <laughs> Ten bites gone, Chris. No. Look at him. He's got Curly's tash first. <laughs> Oh. That's quite impressive. If you put that in. It's ambitious, I don't think I'm going to eat it all. It, you're going to have the biggest <laughs> in the river in Indora if you do. come out like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you're going to have to forgive me for what I look like, but <clears throat> we've woken up to this view. How stunning is that? All the Pyrenees over here. Um, but that was one of the worst winds I've ever camped in. Um, it was so nice while we were sitting chilling and then it started to rain a bit. So um, we all decided to go to bed, which is about 10. And then within half an hour, the winds, oh my God. I mean, we did expect it up here because you always do with altitude. But it's the fact that the whole evening was so peaceful. Um, Tom, um, his end of his tent was flapping about, it's bent a pole. Um, Martin, I got up at like 11 because his awning flipped upside down um, and we all put ours away. Um, but yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um, <clears throat> and then it just got worse and worse all night from there. But um, yeah, so that's the price you pay for camping in such a spot. But uh, the guys in the cars, didn't really notice it so just goes to show um better for an all-weather you didn't notice it at all did you curtis oh you know it's the best night's sleep i've ever had oh rub it in best night's sleep he's ever had it's, it's 7 30 now we're just literally about ready to pack up and go um so we head back down this mountain down here and then head off to andorra thought i'd show you the view of our whole setup does involve me walking up a hill and probably getting out of breath. Here we go. Obviously Curtis was uh, there, but. So you can see how we got the brunt of the wind. There's not really anything protecting us. Come. Right, so we just stopped at McDonald's. Um, I grabbed a coffee. Uh, they didn't have much of a menu. Egg and cheese muffin was about all. Um, but yeah, we've got a little bit of a problem with a Jeep. I reckon this was uh, Josh's jinxing last night, wasn't it? When he went, well, at least none of us have broken down. Yeah. Um, what's happened, Harry? Uh, slightly seized caliper, but I think it's all right. 
slightly seized. It's it must moving. have just stuck on overnight then. It's moving now, so. Well, I think it's from, like Curtis said, from the uh, the hill, it's been really cold, then got really hot going downhill. Yeah, too right. Um, but yeah. We literally went from cold straight down the mountain, didn't we? So. Have you it's not me. It's not me this time. <laughs> Have you fixed it? It will it, be though? in a minute. Have you, have, I'm surprised you're not the one fixing it. I don't want to tread on the man's toes. Hannah ordered everything on the menu. What'd you get? I got curry, some cinnamon roll and croissant. Yeah. And also some pancakes. <laughs> and an egg and, and cheese a, muffin. Yeah, I really want it's a shit menu though, isn't it? Yeah. Or a bit of bacon or something. Oh no. It's like a vegetarian McDonald's. But. At least you've got some good stuff, Harry. Thank you. <laughs> Lewis's. Oh, apparently we've just pulled over. Lewis's, Lewis's truck's having a bit of a nightmare. Your brake all right, Harry? Cool. What's it done? Got hot? Oh dear. Did it get hot or not? It literally just dumped it, so we would have only just started getting it now. Oh, it's just dumped the cooler? Something has. Big just pissing out. Oh, really? Right. Cool, so, for some reason a load of coolant come out. He's only just changed the water pump, so I think it was actually low, um, but we've just topped it up. It's taken, like, three, four litres of coolant. So obviously a lot pissed out, so it wasn't that low. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. We're climbing now, so fingers crossed. It'll be all right. Um, but obviously being my old truck, I know full well that that's had a brand new head. Oh. Guys, it's just uh, rearranging the, his window. Oh, Curtis's window stopped working as well. Um, so today's going well so far. Uh, but yeah, the Amarok I know has had a brand new head, um, new rad, new water pump, everything. So, and he's just changed the water pump again. So yeah, fingers crossed. But if we're going to test it now, he's going to test it whilst we're climbing up into Andorra. So fingers crossed. So we're just coming into Andorra now. That's the last of France back there. The snow has now begun. And then, and Dora, here we come, baby. Bring on the snow. Didn't realize that um, Harry hasn't bought bindings for his board, so we're not gonna go snowboard. But instead, we've pulled over, literally at the base. Um, <laughs> everyone's having a snowball fight. So it's good, it's worth stopping just for that, let's be honest. But uh, it's a shame, so we're not going to get up on the slopes. But. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go, they're all enjoying themselves nonetheless. You won't see it, you got to have, have a zoom Quick on that. photo time. If any of you remember last year, this is where we posed, or Curtis did on this bonnet quite romantically. Obviously, he's going to replicate that. So, this is overlooking the ski resort. Nearly fell over. Whoa! We are through Andorra, um, through border control, and we have finally hit Spain. Um, temperature's only saying 11 degrees, but the sun is out and it is hot, isn't it? Um, oh, We've got the aircon on, that's a given. I think it's only me, Tom and Martin who actually have working an aircon here. Um, so that's gonna come in handy. I didn't have it last year till I got to Ali Nasir. But yeah, we're in sunny Spain. The aim is to make it to uh, Mercia.
Oh, oh no, I don't care. Starting to see a lot of these Renault 4s, look. For anyone that watched last year, we're going along the south of Spain, but in Morocco, we saw thousands of them. So it looks like they've done the event a bit earlier this year. There's probably some more coming up. So end of day three, we successfully made it to Mercia. It's just past 8 p.m. Um, found uh, a campsite planning this trip. Uh, booked it, uh, found it on uh, part for night, and it's a little bit posh for us, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I swivel the camera around, but it's so windy, I don't even know if you can hear me properly. This wind noise, this, this wind is unbelievable. It's been like it all day coming down the coast of Spain. Um, it's it's been throwing the cars around everywhere even harry at one point thought saying come off his roof but uh but anyway uh, the downside is we got here a bit late um and they thought i only asked for one vehicle they're very very spanish not much english so they didn't have enough spaces so they've actually put us in a car park around the back um so accommodating, really, really accommodating. It's lovely. The restaurant's shut, but the bar's open. But look how nice this is. So this is the car park on arrival. It's called Camp. Camping. Um, and then over here is the bar. Um, this is the restaurant which is closed, which is a shame because I would have liked to go on the pool table and something to eat. But yeah, it's lovely. Then, it's a real treat. We come through here. Da -da -da -da. We've got a swimming pool. It's not open tonight. You've got to have a lifeguard. But look how pretty this is. Not just that. We keep coming down here. And, oh, we've got a lovely little indoor swimming pool slash jacuzzi, little spa. There we go. So this is a car park, kids play area next to us. There's even, you can't see, a basketball court up there. If we ever want to shoot some hoops. Um, but yeah, so we're all parked here. None of us bothering with warnings or anything like that because it's just going to be a pain. But get in, cook some food, and uh, have a good sleep. So, what have we got tonight, Tom? Oh, yes. I don't know what we've got. He's being lazy, I think, and doing pizza, making the most of the oven. I don't know where he is. Josh? Oh. Bless him, he got his tent out and it blew away straight away, so he's got to put his bag in it. Anyway, maybe I'll cook tonight, who knows? Oh, look, that's a hint, it's got pizzas out. Both from Aldi, if you must know. Highly rated. Oh, that's about there. Beef short rib pizza and some curly fries. Oosh. Start of day four. Harry and Hannah up. I don't know. They're I usually the last, I think. I'll check for you. Oh, so I'm the last one. That's great. Yeah, I know. I want him to find out if it's if we can go in the hot tub. Oh, I suppose Curtis. Me and Curtis are being lazy. Oh, I can't see him. That's fine. Right. Start of day four. Looks a bit better in the daytime, look. We've got a little 
long wheel bass SJ. I don't see many of them anymore. But yeah, fingers crossed that this blue sky continues. <laughs> I don't even know why I do it to myself, let alone you lot. But pointing the camera in my direction after I've woken up is not good. But I've got my stuff, I'm going for a shower. Even a nice shower look. We've got a proper shower, two heads, a seat, I suppose. And yeah, even got a fan here, which I'm not sure is that safe in a shower room, but we should be all right. famous Carlos in Algeciras at the ticket office um, so booked our tickets through Carlos this time um, just because he is probably the most famous ticket office in our industry um, so yeah we're crossing to Tanja Med this time because <coughs> um, they sent a few issues with Kuta so hey. can't give me come back and leave me. yeah yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, so yeah, so um, really, really friendly family run business. It's really cool. So we're just gonna go over to the car for over there, come back and get our tickets. We're going to Tangier Med this time. Oh, okay. Yeah, instead of Ceuta, um, which is a shame, but it wasn't far between, was it? But they said apparently Ceuta at the moment's just a nightmare. They were just like, just don't go there. Time. Yeah, and he just, they just said, do not go there, don't go there, blah, blah, blah. Um, and they wouldn't have it any other way. I was just like, no, I want to go there because we're going to go chef shower and then down. And they were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so that was that. Um, so that's fine. But anyway, um, we'll go over to car four, stock up on whatever you want. Um, uh, Carlos said... Round, 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 over, round and out. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but we'll park in car four yeah. and then we'll just pull up to this end of the car park to get our tickets back. So, uh, but one hour. She said we'll she'll book everyone in one hour. So. Cool. On the ferry in one hour. No, 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 no. We're on the <laughs> we're on the ferry at eight a.m. tomorrow. So, let's go. So, there's Carlos. There's us. Lined up to potentially the biggest car for I've seen. We're going to load up on some food. And then, uh, what are we having tonight, Josh? Burgers. I don't know. You still wanted to do that? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you're getting out of it. Yeah, but you, was, you were just creaming over KFC earlier. Oh, I love KFC, but we're in, we're in Spain. Actually feels warm now, doesn't it? Now it does. Yeah, like, now I can justify the fact I've got shorts on. Holiday tickets sorted um like i said i do recommend going there i see why people go there all the time now proper family run business um, and really really decent prices so now we're just on the way down to our beach camp for the night um it's nice and warm um fingers crossed the wind doesn't pick up um but yeah these guys are gonna absolutely love this i can't wait to show them so here we go guys who remembers this spot from last year. There's loads of people camping down here now. This is such an epic spot. Right on the sea, look how calm it is. And then over there is the Rock of Gibraltar and that behind it is Morocco. So yeah, so epic. <laughs>
so all set up beach spot tonight just look at this place it is honestly it's an absolute dream so let's go and check out camp josh is cooking uh, a big meal for us all tonight um got the fire going everything this is a proper last night in europe um get together camp um this is this is this is very cool very cool so we've got some chorizo burgers going on here yeah and chicken ones for hannah who else was chicken Oh, Harry's the fussy one. And? And Tully. And Tully. Got the fire going. It does actually look like you're about to do a cooking show. In fact, if I just set the camera here. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <clears throat> yeah. Go on, do a Ainsley Harriet. Or a, or a Jamie Oliver. Can you talk with a lisp? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Come on, it's burning. I'm not talking. <laughs> Fair enough. I won't put you on the spot. Huh? How are you cooking that burger? How are you cooking the burger? Just for future reference. Skip. Because oh, like, like, they're thick. <laughs> what do you think of these this campsite, boys? Must be pretty men. Yeah, mate. Pretty sick, innit, as campsites go. What are you guys? Yeah, really good. Sweet ass. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Last night in Europe though. Oh my word. <laughs> Curtis is always on his roof. Jump. Half of half of <laughs> season one. Yeah, that'll <laughs> that'll never happen with that car. How sad. Oh, is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should we just all like chip in to Josh cooking for us? Look at these. For it, so and onions. Fuck yeah. This isn't going to work doing it to one handed, so cut back to a made burger. Go. Right. Bon apotite. Right, so it is. 10 past 7 in the morning and we are down in Algeciras port got our tickets from Carlo um, it looks like we might be going straight on it doesn't look very busy which is a bonus there's quite a few like overland vehicles here which is always cool to see um, <clears throat> the guys other guys met some Dutch guys uh, yesterday whilst I was sorting the tickets out um, so uh, maybe we'll bump into them over there. But yeah, as always, um, the port is a bit crazy. Um, it's not the easiest place to navigate. Um, and not many of them seem to speak English either. So, but yeah, early start. This is it, onto the ferry and over. Let's sort my hair out. Jesus Christ. Right, here we go. There's all these Dutch guys that we were asked to speak about earlier. This is who the guys met. <coughs> Alright, so when you get on the Tanger ferry, you've got to fill these in. And then you have to get your passport stamped on board. And if you don't do this, you'll be sent straight back home. So we're all trying to fill them in. Curtis, I love yours. Ta. Where's your whole file? Did you drip in your passport or your file? Thank you. There we go. Once we've done this, I'll go and take them out. So I was just about to leave. 
quite cool watching these cranes work. Picking that container up, look. Pretty nuts. It's a massive, massive port, Algeciras. All this stuff 